Kia ora, good evening guys, welcome back to another episode of All From Bosses at Level 1 and No Summons. Ollie here. Oh, well, when you left us last time, we were super stuck on the Valiant Gargoyles. And I've learnt a valuable lesson um, between the last episode and this. Um, basically, don't get too stuck on your Ash of Wars. I think that essentially my I've switched my most powerful weapon to a um, Ash of War that can actually s properly damage the Gargoyles, which is Bloody Slash. Yes, we're back with Bloody Slash. Um, we're going to pop loads of buffs, and we're hopefully going to get past these fucking assholes. So yeah, I think I feel stupid now because I was obviously just trying to do it with the Uchi Gatana and with Square Off on this sword as well. Um, but the reality is, don't be afraid to mix up your weapons uh, to something that's going to cause more damage. I don't know why I had it in my head that I needed to get stuck on, uh, you know, have to do it with the original weapon setup. That's not the case. Because the reality is Oh, I got lucky. Got lucky there. Finish him off here. Yes. Okay. Oof. Okay. Oof. It wasn't worth it. definitely need to avoid that attack okay I used to be terrified of this one now I realize this attack actually provides the key this is a good opportunity to to get some damage in which is interesting just goes to show once you learn the move set these guys are dangerous he's a uh, fucking dangerous There's no doubt that this guy is dangerous. Okay. Oh, got lucky there. Oh, I'm like I'm there probably. One more hit and I'll probably go with the Oh I could have I caught cowardly there and missed the window of opportunity. Still worth it. Just waiting for him to do his Oh he's getting close. Do your win, there you go. Okay, so I've put the invulnerability thing on, but, and for good reason. Do your win thing. That's fine. Oh, 
Whoa. Oh, I just put the skin on my teeth. No. Oh no. I've definitely made a couple of mistakes here, but I'm still in it. These guys are fucking terrifying, I'll be honest with you. The pressure is insane. Do your spin, there you go. I'm gonna go with full health now. Risk it. Yes! Woo! With one health left. No health left. Oh. That was actually first time recording tonight, so I'll be quite honest when you've seen me record episodes and things with the um, Chalice Dungeons and things like that. Oh, that's, that's worth a drink. Chalice Dungeons and stuff, when you've seen the episode on YouTube, I've had to start and restart. That is genuinely first attempt tonight. My hands are shaking. Oh my god. So yeah. What have you learned? Can we put square off back on? I I really don't wanna I don't wanna avoid bleed. What have you learned? <sighs> so I actually haven't checked this very much. 304, heavy, huh, I think we're going to go, nice, um, we've learned that you need to, to survive in this game, in the later stages, we're going to need to uh, make sure that we're optimising our weapons, I'm so relieved to be through that. You have no idea. They really... They really mess me up, man. Those Valiant Gargoyles really mess me up. They're one of the worst gank fo bosses that From have ever done. Uh, I think the main problem is the poison. The fact that the poison damages you as well as proccing is absolutely insane. Also, can we stop to take a minute to talk about what the fuck? This is, I mean, this is slightly less egregious than how you get from Mountain Top of the Giants to uh, Faramazula. But this is still super weird. But yeah, I was, I was just trying with a plus 13 or 14 Uchigatana when they're resistant, obviously, as stone creatures. And then I'm also, was also trying with square off, which of the weapon art, their bodies aren't designed to be hit with square off. Oh, my boy looks awesome. So, yeah, mix it up. And that's something, that's a journey that we'll take together. I'm always welcome, if I'm struggling, either comment in the Twitch channel if it's you watching live, or in the comments in the YouTube section between part one and part two. If you've got ideas and thoughts of how to do it, please, I'm, I'm all ears. So we've reached our next kind of unofficial legacy dungeon. Can we talk to... Okay, so we can't talk to... Uh, I wondered if we picked up Miniature Rani here, but I think that's in Ainsel River. 
north. Okay. How many runes have I got? 121,941. Shall I go and pick... Shall I, let's just see how powerful my weapon is for this level. I like how these guys fall. Whoa! Oh, that would have killed me. That would have killed me well if I hadn't never rune arc on. Oh, they do do that. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> hey. It's like that bit in Blake Raging Bull. You never got me down, Ray. You never got me down. I don't think I've ever dodged those before without torrent. Oh, what? Whatever. Oh, I got a bit lucky there. Oh, I fucked that one up. I'm still riding on after gargles, to be honest with you. That's better. And I haven't got torrent equipped, so I'm making this a lot harder on myself then. <laughs> I'll get there by hook or by crook. Woo! Luckily I've got some... One more hit or to do it. Sure you got enough of those golden things there, mate? Uh, it's not going to win any prizes, but first time at uh, level one, I'll take it. Whew. Staff of the Avatar. I bet that's going to need 50 strength or something. Let's get Torrent on. Okay, what's my loadout? Let's have a look how we beat the gargoyles. Okay, so we popped a rune arc to be able to do this. Uh, Radigan Saw Seal, Dragon to Talaman, and Urtree's Favor for the equip load and the slight HP. I've done that. Um, that plus Radigan, uh, Radan's armor means that I'm able, I was able to tank a few hits there. And as you could see, it actually means that I didn't get one shot by the Earth Tree Avatar either. Um, and yeah, and bloody slash, that did it. What the fuck? Oh no, it's these hard head ones. Okay, I think I'm going to switch to the Uchi for that. For the simple reason. I want to be able to... Okay. Let's see what these guys do. 
Whoop. I do not like these guys are freaky. Woo! I do not like the design on these guys at all. They freak me out way. Got lucky there. I thought I'd fallen off. Fuck. It's typical FromSoft to get beaten by a standard enemy after this, isn't it? Uh, you beat a boss, mini boss, whatever, then the common enemy fucks you up. I do not. These guys are pretty fucking rough, especially in packs. I actually forgot about their existence. They were an enemy type that I'd forgotten about. Can you can you give me some fucking room to? Hey, bro. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining in, while I'm struggling with a pair of hard-headed ants. Man, these guys are covered like a motherfucker. Okay. Oh! Torrent was definitely a way better option for this. <sighs> so, catch our breath. Uh, we're in deep root depths, so you just missed at the start of the episode. Uh, we've defeated the Valiant Gargoyle. Valiant Gargoyles, they're in Nocron, so um, we finished Nocron, came up in this, came up in this coffin. And we've now reached Deep Root Depth, which is located at right at the base of the Erd Tree. It's a legacy dungeon in all but name, and it's one I'm actually quite fond of at normal level. I'm not sure how things are going to go at level one. Is there another... So just in case you haven't seen this uh, channel before, or what the theme of this channel is, it's all all Elden Ring bosses, or indeed all the... Yeah, so it's a level 1 build. So this is at level 1, so I'm not leveling whatever it, it's whatever I need to do to get past the boss at level 1. So I haven't leveled my character at all. Uh, and also not using spirit summons or normal or NPC or online summons either. So the build at the moment is Radan with a Uchi Gatana to, to, to survive hits. However, we optimize the build to get past whatever boss I need to get past. Right, what we're going to do... Um, probably should get a bow up in here. First of all, let's see what fire arrows do. Okay, so they keep flying, do they? Come over here. I really need to get to another site of grace. I know I should just re recharge it, my one, uh, the last one, but I'm stubborn. Also, I want a clear sight to see where the ant's nest is. But yeah. Redan yep, so this is Radan's armor that's also been altered by Bok, the seamster. And yeah, if you check uh, the, the fight against Radan, uh, wasn't <laughs> was me inflicting him with rot and then running away. <laughs> so, deserved, like, fought like a true warrior. How do we get over there? Trying to remember this area. It's not coming. Okay, we need to get over there. Mm, that looks like it's going to kill me. That definitely looks like it's going to kill me. And I'm not trying to... Let's. I, I'm not going to take any chances here.
I don't know why I'm bothering to fill up with FP. <laughs> We're going to be top... Okay. Trying to remember where the hell we all go. There's so many shinies. Part of me is tempted to just run to the bosses, but we need to we need to pick up some shit. The Valiant Gargoyles left left us bereft. I'm so relieved, honestly. I so so far, obviously, I think I'm going to do a ranking video. Uh, I stream twice a week, uh, one during the weekday and one during the. Um, one during the weekend. Sometimes they can change based on my work schedule. The best thing you can do, if you have a look at um, my the, my Twitch handle, is the same as my YouTube handle. So if you search CC Fuss on YouTube, I upload the YouTube videos after each stream. So if you miss one, you can catch them there. So that's C E C E F U S S, and that way you can check what's happening with the streams on there and catch up if you if you've missed them live. So we're going to be finishing Ronnie's quest line. And then we're going to be hitting uh, Altus Plateau. So we're, we're going through the game in some kind of sequential order as well. To make things even harder. I'm playing it like it's an old fashioned FromSoft game. <laughs> okay, what the fucking... That's how you get there, but how do you get in there? How do you get in the cave? Nice to see you anyway, bro. I really appreciate you joining in on the stream, even if it was for a little bit. And hopefully catch you on the next one, man. Smithing stone four, quite useful. Yeah, I need to remember how to get. Yeah, really appreciate you joining us. This is where there's like 17 of these motherfuckers. Cheers, bro. We got past the hard one. Nothing, nothing can be as hard as the valiant gargoyles at level one with no summons. Surely. And that is actually what I was just talking. That segues nicely onto what I was already talking about. There's a, there's a bloody sight, Grace. So what I was talking about earlier was uh, I will be doing a ranking video, I think, of um, the top 50 hardest bosses I've fought at level one and no summons throughout the entire From catalog. Once the channel's concluded the run, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but just unofficially, I would say that Valiant Gargoyles are probably going to be in the top 10. They're in the top 10 as it stands now, for sure. What do you have to say? Lord Godwin, such cruelty. Oh, my poor sweet. As the first of the devil. Godwin, obviously, the troubled. <laughs> do we know it was a he? <laughs> Good to see you, Niz. Niz, uh... I'd like to hear some more about the movies that you've seen. Did you also just manage to catch the fight against the Valiant Gargoyles before we uh, moved on to Deep Root Depths? As you saw the pain that they caused me. I'd like to know the answer to that as well as telling me about the movies you've been watching. Ah, ah it's a shame. Check it out. Um, sweet, sweet revenge. You managed to do it first, first go. Cool. Tell me about the movies. I will uh, respond to, to all of them, but I'm just uh, I'll talk a little bit about this area while you share share with me. This area is super weird from a design perspective. The water thing's pretty weird, and we we are pretty much at the bottom of the earth here. I'm guessing they're movies from the 70s. We're going to be going around getting some shinies from Torrent. Getting some shinies on Torrent. Alright. Keep your depths, thank you. Always useful. First time! Holy mackerel! That key. What the fuck? This is a new enemy type. 134,000 souls. Probably should have spent those. 
Um, did you prefer... Did you prefer Temple of Doom or Last Crusade? That's the question. There's some people that think that Temple of Doom is super underrated and actually the best of the trilogy. And there's slightly more that would say that Last Crusade is underrated and actually perfects the Indiana Jones formula and is the best of the trilogy. The anti-raiders, people will call them. I don't like this enemy type are super creepy. Not not the basilisks. These guys. They are very weird. It's the first time we've seen those headless warriors since Leonia. Feels like a long time ago. That sounded like Oh, uh, it's those gargoyles as well. Fuck those guys. I'm sick. I'm through with gargoyles, guys. Anyway, yeah, Niz, uh, let, do let me know. Do you prefer Temple of Doom or Last Crusade? Modern Room 9. Modern Room 8. They made that seem like it was going to be more than it was. I also could have sworn that there was a Sight of Grace down here somewhere. Ugh. Useful smithing stone. Wasn't there a sight of grace here? And it's super cool, like, this is, again, slight Ash Lake vibes. Ah, okay, there it is. Yeah, I can totally see that. A valid choice indeed. He's putting his buckler on. Why is that, I hear you ask? Well, no spoilers, but I think we've got a fight coming up against an enemy that needs a jolly good parrying. It's a jolly good seeing too. Uh, let's switch to our most powerful weapon. For the repost. Why not? We're going boss mad. We're going boss mad. We doing this? Oh, I accidentally used the one just physic. Oh, yeah. Do we need it? Maybe not. Let's go. A bit rusty. Not bad damage. Not great. Not bad. Ow. Punishes roll catches as well. Yeah, I could probably buff up a bit more. This lady's not going to be too much of a trouble. Oh shit, 134,000 souls. Right, this is getting stressful now. I've got to... I've got to uh, spend those souls. Got to. We're going to sort that out before we go any further in Deep Root Depths. Um, yeah, Indiana Glass Crusade. Um, I think Sean Connery plays a big part for me why that's uh, I prefer it to the Temple of Doom 
doesn't have the slightly suspect racial. Like, I don't know if a lot of uh, Templars Doom has aged that well in terms of racial connotations. Let's just get out of here for now and spend these souls. 134,000, that's a lot of prawn. Yeah, it's still a good film. Very good film, in fact. Uh, equipment of Champions. You got nothing to sell me. Well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your arms. Smithing's only six. So we need something that's between 9 and 12 to level up. Ooh, Moonvale. Probably do that one over a lot of the other... Um, or the Dragon Claw Incantation, what about that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh my god, we've got, still got so many basic weapons on plus six. There's a real chokehold. This smithing stone threes are really hard to come by. And it kind of chokes up your level up system. Is it? Say, maybe they're doing it to stop you from just getting over level. But I think it takes a little bit of fun out of it as well. Smithing stone five. So what have we got that we can actually spend? Smithing stone three. Could have leveled up the halo side, but oh well. So we haven't got Smithy Stone 4, we're just gonna fuck, I'm just gonna how many prawn am I gonna buy? Uh, boil prawn shack, where are you? Any other films as well as uh the Indiana Jones films, Niz? In I feel like Last Crusade says a lot of similarities with Back to the Future Part 3. Came out same year or within 18 months of each other. And they kind of perfect the kind of perfect the formula. And for some people that's you know that doesn't do it for them. But for me it definitely does. I'm on record as saying I love Back to the Future Part 3 the most. Okay, 80,000 is a little bit better. I c well, fuck, America's should we buy more? America's tits. Okay, 31,000. I'll take that. 31,000 we can lose. <laughs> Charges. We don't need any. Oh, yeah. Let's try. Eleven health. Nice. That should sort us out for, for this next fight. Can make a few mistakes. Main thing is, is we can take a hit from her now. Oh man, the the intro scene with River Phoenix, fuck yeah. Love it. Love it. Like and specifically specifically what you're talking about as well, but like the whole scene is good. Yeah, that's straightforward enough. A fair bit of parrying in you need here, isn't it? Yeah, this bit's, is there not a match Stake America, really? Oh, it's by far the best intro scene of the trilogy. I was going to say favourite intro scene of like the eight, expand it out like the 80s or like, you know, 
in action cinema or whatever. Such a genius idea. Beautifully done. And River Phoenix is a very much a young kind of Harrison Ford. Is that with the the Busby Berkeley dance scene in the like Cabana nightclub as well? Is that the one I'm thinking of? All dressed in tuxedos and shit. Yeah, that's good. This is a cool fight. This is so much less stressful than the gargoyles. Good having fun with bosses again. Hmm. Not doing a huge amount of damage. Woo! And that's a one shot. Need to be mindful of that. Yeah, did you watch it after because you wanted to see what K Hai Kwan had done after Temple of Tomb? I only saw that myself a couple, uh, month or two back. I love him in everything, everywhere, all at once. Like I went into it being like, you know, skeptical and Oscar baiting performance or whatever, but god damn he's so charming in that. I actually kind of prefer him to Michelle Yeoh and I'm a huge Michelle Yeoh fan ever going, since going back to Crouching Tiger Golden Night, uh, Tomorrow Never Dies days. Like I love Michelle Yeoh, but I actually thought she was maybe a, a, a wee bit overrated in that, whereas Keiho Kwan deserved all of the plaque accolades. We're messing up. I'm not like, why did that not hurt me? Yeah, it's really good. I kind of miss, I kind of feel like the first half of the movie is maybe a little bit better than the second half. I kind of wish that they'd stuck with the universes where, you know, she's a badass fighter and stuff like that. I didn't feel like Michelle Yeoh really had a, a lot to do after that kind of first kick-ass fighting stuff. It was more her reacting to, to her daughter's character and stuff. And Jamie Lee Curtis kind of drops off after the first half of the movie, but... Still a great film and one that we need to see more of in Hollywood for sure. I think, I think I'm going to try and reset her every time to do that stab. Surprised I didn't die there. Furthest I've got with parrying. Three successful parries. <laughs> Fuck you. My parries need to be better. I'm a huge Nick Cage fan, so I really like that film, but it's not for everyone. And I think I saw it before I'd seen Pedro Pascal in other stuff. I've never seen Game of Thrones, not a huge Star Wars guy. So I didn't really get Pedro Pascal until I saw that film and I was like, oh, this guy's funny. And then I saw uh, Last of Us, where he's phenomenal, in my opinion. So now I'm fully signed up to the Pascal fan club. And of course, good old Nick, Nicky C, bring in the, bring in the laughs. All right, let's... Do a bit of prawn action. Ah, that prawn doesn't stop me from getting one shot. Oh, 
my parrying is going to need to improve. The reason, sorry, just to explain what I'm doing here. To the untrained eye, it may seem like I'm playing badly. I'm here to assure you that it couldn't be further from the truth. I'm actually not playing badly at all. The reason what I'm doing here is I, I need to work on my parrying for this enemy type in particular because of the double crucible knight fight that I'm going to have to come up that I'm going to have to face a bit later like I'm going to need to learn I'm going to need to learn how to do it oh fuck off I got that Yeah, that's good to hear. Like, like I said, an 8 out of 10 film for me, and I think it's had a bit of a backlash, actually. People saying it's a bit too silly, but fuck it, it's a daft comedy. I was laughing. I was laughing the whole way through. The thing about Nick Cage is he totally commits to the character so well. <coughs> the character, of course, being himself. I love that they gave him a fictional wife as well, but that's a lot funnier. All right, let's buff up. Let's put immunity on, just to try and give us a bit of wiggle room. Like what the? Doing it too early. That's a big mace. That's also the incorrect way to dodge out, dodge roll out of that. With the crucible knights with swords, like piece of piss, I can. Your sarcasm befits a crown, sir. With this sword, Crucible Knight, I've parried, like I said, I've successfully parried them three times on camera in this run. So I know I can do those. These mace guys, I'm not quite getting that move set. And I'm sure that there's one that I can do, I'm probably sure I can beat it with torrent and arrows. Probably sure I can beat this guy, this lady with torrent and arrows or some shit, but like I'm gonna need to know it, and I'm not quite sure what the delayed timing is is screwing me up. I also think I need to come down off the high of the. Uh, is there anything in here I can grab? Okay. Whoa, that's the 30,000 souls gone. Oh well. Doesn't that guy's fucking hardcore. Headless Lootal. You were such a good summon, you absolute turncoat. Like, I don't want to just want to dodge roll through all these attacks and hit him with an Uchi. Somber Smithing Stone 7. Yeah! I think that's what I wanted. Yep, I'll give you that. I'll tell you what, I'll give you my answer to that after this attempt. Yes, I have an answer for you.
Why? What is it about this particular Crucible Knight's move set that I'm finding so difficult? Have I lost it? Did I ever have it? Coming? Shit. And I don't want to get yourself too close in there, yeah. That's how you do it. Woo! I would say just quickly reset. Yeah, I love this. I love that move. What the? How do you fuck do you dodge that? Well, if you're not going to let me parry you to oblivion, I don't see why I should... Uh Bother. Honest, quite honestly. Oh, you're rather annoying me there. Okay, let's... Mm, okay, so in answer to your question, there's a movie that everyone should see before they die, and I'd recommend that they watch it, at least when they hit their 20s. It's Synecdoche, New York. It's a film by Charlie Kaufman, who wrote... Uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind being John Malkovich other mind-bending movies and it isn't just one of those normal watch at university or watch when you're stoned kind of experiences it's a really deep film and it's about life, the universe, everything in between it's a really great movie Philip Seymour Hoffman is the lead character plays the lead role he's phenomenal in it and it's got a who's who of character actors and the concept is like super crazy, but it really works. So Synecdoche, Synecdoche, New York would be my choice that everyone should see before they die. Really? Well, watch it when you're, that's a deliberately said, if I recall correctly, you're not even quite 20 yet. Watch it when you're a bit older. And I, I hate, I know, I hate that answer. I sound like such a douchebag saying that, but it's true. If you watch it at the right time in your life, it will change your life, mate. He's cornered me. Oh yeah, that's not going to do it at all. Where am I? Okay, there's a chest over there whatever I got that time to back away it's when they pull out that golden order shit that I'm Okay, so I just need to dodge and roll, roll away from that. Uh, it's, mm, that one's annoying because it doesn't seem like it should be a one shot. Half health, that's the closest I've so far. Hey mate, helping people along their um, movie education journey. Commendable, should always do that, right. Strategy. 
We're gonna arrow this person to death. Wow. Says a lot, doesn't it? Right, new strategy. We're gonna parry them the first half. Because we do need to progress. What? Not even uh Senor Spielbergo. That's insane. Okay. Strategy is uh parry first half. And we're gonna do torrent and arrow second half, just because we need to get past this. Oh, I'm heavy rolling. If I win this when I'm fat rolling, <laughs> like a challenge run. Oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm still a little bit high off the gargoyles fight. Parry first half, arrows, and torrent to finish the job. Let's do, let's go. Ultimately, I'm just making that call for myself because the Crucible duo fight, I feel like that's going to be enough pain as it is. Interesting that the um, prawn doesn't give you more. I thought it did more damage. Whatever. Well, you have to be early on that. I think it's when they when the knight withdraws the spear. I think that's that's the key time. I think I figured it. Yeah, I think I cracked it, guys. Fuck you. One more, one more it'll have until it turns, if it does the golden shit. Yeah. Ah! Okay, I've got to stop doing that because I will get hurt. Where have you gone, old Crucible Knight? I don't think you can pull the poison on him. What happens here? An interesting little test. Little test.
keep myself topped up. Interesting. One shot me when I'm on torrent. A. Eh? Absolutely. That's the way to do it. Almost kind of the big attraction about having a child for me is showing them all the shit that I loved as a throughout all the stages of my uh, youth and adolescence to see them experience that again for the first time. I'll try and think of a movie that you should see before you die that you haven't seen, even in, to some degree. That's just always my go-to answer, because I have been asked that a few times. Okay. I think I know how to consistently parry them. So, let's see if I can do it without that and then just dodging the golden order shit. Well, he says, of course, then fucking out. It's when they pull the arm back to do the uh, to do the stab. So, mate, there was a valuable lesson. Fuck. Fuck. I mean, if we were doing list of obvious films to see before you die, Goodfellas would have been high on the list. Other films on that list, yeah. So if we're doing like super obvious films that if, that loads of people have put, like the acknowledged classics, then you'd have you know, Big Lebowski, Terminator 2, Goodfellas, and Heat, with Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, probably be the ones that come to mind as like super amazing classics that most people or if everyone heard of. I got distracted. I got distracted by their runes. Get out of the way. Runes, bitch. Get out of the way. Um, another one that everyone should see at least once before they die is, have you seen the Korean movie? If you're open to watching subtitled movies, a uh, Korean film called Old Boy would be up there for me, Niz. Yeah, so just a basic summary of the plot. Guy get and this isn't a spoiler because it happens at the start. Guy gets in prison for 10 to 15 years. Told, then released and told that he has, I think, five days to find out who imprisoned him and why. I mean, that, in terms of a concept that's written, in terms of a concept that's written on the, you know, back of a, in an elevator pitch, Why is that fucking up? Ooh. Oh, it's the delayed attacks. Fuck you. Woo! 
They punish healing so hard. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't if you're having this conversation. I, I'd probably my ego would take over, and I wouldn't be picking Scorsese or Spielberg or even Kubrick films just because it feels like they're on every list. It's like modern classic in Bruges. That's maybe a modern classic. That's beautiful writing, funny and dark, and that everyone should see. Even if I need to change their mind about Colin Farrell, if they think he's not a particularly good actor, in Bruges is up there for me. getting the parrying down it's just keeping up consistently for the whole health bar that I'm I'm struggling with but I need to get good at it this part's fine when it turns into fucking gold, gold face city. There we go. Okay, dodge behind it out of that. They give me some parry windows, baby. Fuck you! That's bullshit. That wind-up is absolutely ridiculous. Hmm. I was shocked at... Now, the thing I like about you suggesting those two films, 12 Angry Men in particular, is they're perfect examples of films that doesn't matter what year they were released. So like 12 Angry Men is 65 years old. Still like genuinely an absolute classic. Okay. How am I going to... How am I going to get out of this one? It's that stupid stab attack. Here. Why am I parrying so early now? Might switch. Ah, uh, it doesn't give you a window to pop it. That's what I want for the second phase, but I need to find a good time to do it. Maybe I can run away and do it. Ah, good point. You know what? I hadn't, I hadn't even remembered that. Lumet did a good, um, a good. His last film is a solid thriller. It certainly isn't under the list of films you need to see before you die, but 
his final film in I think 2007 with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman again, second recommendation for me tonight, plus Ethan Hawke, Before the Devil Knows You're Dead. That's a cool little thriller that's got a pretty twisty plot and lots of cool shit happening in it. Plot doesn't go necessarily where you expect, so strongly recommend them. Strongly recommend that. So once I get the once I set up correct for the parry, we're going well on that. That's fine. The second phase grab is not cool. I slipped on the button there and you know, then got the desired result. Like I can manipulate the AI to do that pretty well, but this second phase is a pain in the ass. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha He's there, Garvin straight did it! You son of a gun. It's a cool little arena deep deep depths, isn't it? I can't believe they're not, it's a little bit annoying that, I'm wondering if I'm missing uh, a Steak America here, I don't think so, I actually think this might be the closest run up. I'm being greedy, I know, we've had some horrible boss runs in this channel, always a good time, always a good time to watch 12 Angry Men. No excuse needed. So you want to be looking, and not that I should be giving anyone parry advice, but do it better than me. But when they pulls his arm back, or her arm back, that's when you want to do it. Although, oh, they can mix up the attack there. And I walk towards danger, I should have let them come to me. Son of a gun. Happens when your parry skills are... Pretty rusty. Defo, watch it. Right, I need to, I maybe need to start thinking about different strategies for, it's been fun, but we need to take this person, uh, we need to take this, Female Crucible Night downtown. That mix-up, that delayed attack is a real, real son of a bitch. Getting worse. You think it's funny? Funny how? Funny like I amuse you, like I'm a clown? Alright. What have we got? Shall we maybe try damage? Both hands. Oh, that's going to be a fat roll, isn't it? Okay. That's cool. What about that? That's still a fat roll. That one work. Sweet. Give the old dragon halberd a go, eh? Oh, 
Uh, isn't that the one that's something like I am Nemo or something like that? Is that the one you're talking about? Ah, never heard of it. Sounds cool. That move set doesn't go well with the uh, Crucible Knight. Well, maybe we can. I also need to pop a. The boss, the boss run is just slightly annoying, slightly too long to be annoying. I've heard that. I've heard of that. Is it like uh, West Side Story, right? Okay, cool. Let's give this a... What the? Yeah, it's just a joke. Okay, it doesn't like that move set. I really like the dragon halberd, and maybe I'm wielding it wrong, I don't know, but. Okay. Uchi. <laughs> Coincidence. Right, I really need to put this per put this pesky knight down for good. No! So close. Ah, uh, trusty Ichi Katana. I don't know whether or not I needed to stagger it twice. Um, to get the repost or whether I just messed up the repost. But I didn't... I, I kind of lost my window to do a repost there. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so you have got a window doing it. Too slow on the toolbar. I had one hit left for them the last time. Mm. My fault for my toolbar management. My bad. Anything, just gotta keep telling myself, anything's better than the Valiant Gargles. That's bullshit. Oh, whatever! Fuck off, that's fucking bullshit. <sighs> Alright, let's give... Can't attack guard counters, jump attacks. Maybe it is that one. Guard attacks, blue dancer charm, and this is going to one shot me anyway. Fuck it. What else can we? Maybe stamina. Oh, I do need it for the... Okay, cool. Oh, I suppose you might as well use... You might as well use the sword. It's just... Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna fucking one shot me. Might as well go naked, boy. Oh, whatever. Oh, I hate that stab move it does. That was one hit that first time that I tried that technique. Unbelievable. This damn night starting to become an inconvenience.
Come on. Come on. Yes. Fuck yeah. Whew. I always come back to the Uchi. Nice. And does some quick damage at. Nice. That, that's some good armor, if I recall. Twenty-five thousand, barely worth the. They really are a pain in the ass, aren't they? Of course, you got a wandering mausoleum, slightly and probably here. I mean, they're a far, they're a long way from Kansas, aren't they? The old wandering mausoleums. I'm not entirely sure why there's one here, but you know. Oh, nice, an archer. Uh, <laughs> That's my fault. Let's put on some proper. Let's put on everything. I can't wait till I get the proper physical damage negation. Okay, so Radan's 6.8. It's just all around a better helm, that one. What about the armour? It's hard to argue against the armour, isn't it? Let's keep the Uchi for now. I'm a little uncomfortable with the find the move set quite confronting. Look mate, I don't wanna fight you. Oh come on. I honestly if I I don't know how many more gargoyle fights I've got in the game. I think it's two. I've got another Black Blade Kindred. Maybe it's just one, but I'm happy to never see another gargoyle again. But the gargoyles in um, Dark Souls 3 were so sweet and kind compared to this. Yeah, I'll speed run, baby. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's up there. Must be. Is it not? Yeah. Ah, we're out. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Just want to be able to fucking explore without this trick getting in the way. Bows and arrows, oh, effective range, and okay, cool. Fuck you, man. It's an environmental hazard. Oh, 
Now we can go on, on with our lives. Okay, why am I... Uh, okay. Just after that. See, that's why I just needed a bit of fucking chill. To be able to spot the sight of Grace. It's all I needed. Just a bit of R&R. &R. Nice. All right. Let's. Yeah, that's pretty good for now. I think well, let's have a look at this boss. Assess. And then check out the build to that. So this is crazy, I mean, this is one of my favourite moments in the game, when you're like, what the hell is that? What has happened here? Is this place so poisonous? And then you realise that, that it's so similar to the face at the bottom of Stormvale. Just fucked up. Be his champion. Well, I'm fat rolling. That's never a good start, is it? Fucking blood hand fang, motherfucker. But okay. you got kukri there. Are you throwing the kukri at me? That's cool. I don't think I've ever hit someone out of midair before. There are harder challenges afoot. No, Roger, Rog! Rog! That oracular bubbles or whatever, some shit. He doesn't give me a chance to fucking do it, does he? We're hard. What we're going to need more FP. Maybe some of that can do. Maybe some of that can do more damage. Let's drag and halberd it. 
I might even get a fucking chance to use it now. Maybe we can just delete this boss with the Dragon Halberd. Third boss of the episode already. Crikey. Pushing up through it. Bit of an annoying walk. Ah, oh, it's a different build each time. Fat rolling wasn't really... What? What the hell? Oh, it does damage to itself. Don't think like I really gave the... Dragon Halberd the proper go there. Still a fat roll for me. Sweet. Let's give it a proper go, ladies and gents. But yeah, Godwin's face up there. That's up there with one of the most... I'd say that's like, kind of like top 10 moment in the game. There's one thing I wanted to check if I had. No, we don't have it. Pretty well, what you'd say. But I love that dragon halberd, man. Deletion. I think this is Rancor! Rancor! Bullshit! Look at them both walking away like they're so smug. I was coming for you, Lionel. Just ganked me on the final one, that's all. I really do hate that Rancor spell. Whatever. More fun this way. <laughs> Spamming L2, not always the way. I think I should pop the invincibility thing on the last. Let's maybe give myself one more FP while I'm here. I think I'm going to need it. Okay. I'm 
fan. I kind of want to do it with the Dragon Halberd now. Like I'm, I'm into, um, I'm enjoying how quickly it deletes the phases. It kind of skips to that tricky third phase quicker. Saves all that lane running around with Rog. Can't believe Rog, Rog you broke my heart, man. You broke my heart. Well, that was a bit hardcore, wasn't it? Rancor spell, man. Ow, fuck off. Wow, it really just takes you everywhere. That is a problem. Maybe we need to delete line. I think we need to delete line off first. Maybe even give myself another flask. And this time I'll also pop the invincibility flask as well, I think. So Lionel always spawns in the middle, I think. So we want to get rid of him ASAP. We got rid of Roger, of course. Oh, whatever, Rog. Bullshit. Probably mine. Probably on me, that one. Don't know how much I'd actually say was bullshit. Why don't we... Give it an experiment. No equip load. And something that does more damage. Let's see if that one does. I'm not sure if that's the right twin blade. Let's try that one first. Because I think that's the last hit of the chain attack, so... Okay. 
Whoa. Mm, that ra last round is going to be tough. Why did that only do? Why did that do so little damage to Lionel? Okay. Got some things to figure out here. That's still too heavy. Okay. Maybe the last go with the halberd. We need something that can delete Lionel fast. I might have actually leveled, I might have something for that halberd. Did we pick up a somber smithing stone to level that up? We might well have done. What the? Sick of gank bosses, man. Of course, referring to phase three there. These first two stages are obviously like nothing, but... Let's go and check to see whether we can level up this dragon out a little bit. I think we've got a somber smithing stone seven. Well, I took you from that man today, out your own. Yes. souls all right let's see what that extra damage does can we pop that on for golden vow yes yeah, I think we're going to pop Golden Vow on as well between the second and third phases just to really try and delete Lionel. Lionel's also my dad's name, which is a bit weird saying like delete Lionel. Kill Lionel. Freud would have a field day with that, I think. Oops. No. It's definitely working.
What the fucking hell is going on? Ow! Yes! Take that, Lionel. Finally, no longer have to put up with some guys spamming fucking spells at me. Oh my god. Yes! Is that it? Thank god for that. Ah, oh, the halberd. Just leveling that up there a little bit more. 41,000? That's not bad. Okay, before we do... NPC stuff. I think we've been neglecting. Let's. What's that? Oh, I think we go crying. Let's just get a top up the arrow supply. Because I've just been. Pissing souls away. I was a bit worried about that boss. It, I felt like it was going to be one of those ones like, um, uh, what's he called? Gwendolyn. That actually becomes a nightmare on room level one. Uh, how nice, please. But we managed to strong arm our way through it. Oh, really? Yeah. That was nice. Poison arrows. From your boy up here. Back unusual to this eight. Nice. Wow, perfect amount. Have Love that. Safe, All right. I think we need to speak with fear. Before we do that though, I think we need a little bit of practice. Because... Let's... Faith... Put the seal on. I'm wondering if this is going to be... We need to go and sort the spells out. It's a cheese that we can assess before we do the, before we implement it, which is useful. Why can't I do that? Faith 15 arcane, t oh, my arcane. Try that. Seventeen. Okay. okay. That should work. And if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, it will all make sense, I promise.
Let's hope so, eh? For my sake. Almost. Not quite. Let's see whether... I thought it might actually be quicker to even spam back to there. So there's a well-known exploit there, but I haven't got Akil's flame. I don't think. Have we beaten a dragon for a while? Day 15 out of 12. Let's try that. Might as well try them all on here. Give that a go. Fear, you'll wait for us, won't you? Thanks, darling. This is a cool fight, and... Um, if it turns out that I can't cheese it, that's fine. I don't know if I've cheesed a boss in the game yet, in this particular run, but hell, we've cheesed on this channel loads of times. I'm not, a, I'm not averse to it, so... I'm wondering whether it's that specific one that we need, which I, I think a Gil's flame. yellow bit that we want. Fear, honestly mate, wait for me, I'm, I am coming. <laughs> well, we might have, have to do it the legit way. All because I forgot to get a Gil's Breath. We got any dragon hearts in the inventory? Probably unlikely. No. It was reckless abandon.
Maybe Rotten Breath might work. What have we got? Rotten Breath. Yeah, those didn't work. Rotten Breath's our last hope. And if not, then hell. We're going to go for it. Because sometimes you've got to go for it. It's just really um, the next boss's lightning attacks that I'm worried about, although I've realised they can actually take quite a good hit in this setup. Yeah, it doesn't really. Fucking just some. No, it doesn't. It's Ag Agiles that does it. Oh well. That's the rules of the run. Can't go and get another Dragon Heart. I don't think there is another Dragon Heart available, even if I wanted there to be. Alright. So. Let's go with Dragon Halberd. It's a cool fight as well, like, no issue with doing it legit. Might take a while. Let's see how long we've got left on this episode. Oh, yeah. We're all good. Uh, magical fire. Lightning. Let's put that on. I better check that I do it right. Need to make sure that I'm doing it right. Don't want to mess it up. Good old fix to life. You are an odd one. I'll try I am that. the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? That was smoothly done. Smooth cut. I need to give you the curse mark of death, love. Have you ever seen a hollow brand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half-wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's Hallowbrand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hold. But there is another Hallowbrand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a Hallowbrand scored his flesh. What this big unit exists. over here? Gross. Another mark in the shape of the half wheel wound of the centipede, and I must find it. Before the time comes, we receive our Lord. This is really creepy storyline. Will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you, even then? This is the other Hallowbrand. How did you? Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead, and claim a second illustrious life. 
You are my, our true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. Yeah, I mean, this is some messed up stuff. I will soon lay with Godwin, and it will surely stir within me the new life of the Golden Prince and first dead of the demigods as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Well, I've got a few different other endings I want to go for, thanks to you. By becoming our Elden Lord. I will soon lay to conceive my child, brandish my stay the by become. I'm gonna, I will need to take off that Baldachin's Blessing, I think. Because I don't like the debuff, but I'm not going to take off in case I mess this bit up. So let's. This bit's a bit annoying. Okay. Looks like we did it. Guys, looks like we made it. Oh no, she's over here. What's that? Okay. Are you gonna? You say, what are you saying, Fear? You saying anything else? This is good. I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will, not the remains of one chosen for me, and I will bear a child Ugh. who will inherit your warmth too. What greater blessing could there be? But to be born a deathbed companion. Dung eater? This is good, but I am sad. I choose and I will who will inherit what greater. I wish there was a quicker way of leaving. Alright. I think that might be her. Into the deathbed dream. Not yet. Okay. Uh, maybe the other one as well. Pop a rune arc for this first go, why not? Another five pin hits. Let's do it. Far out. Well, that was a cool first attempt. Got stuck in a tree root and died immediately, even with the lightning. Yeah, okay. Oh boy. And that was where the rune arc popped as well, immediate death. Maybe let's just scope it out for a minute, see what's happening. Oh, and Death Flight as well. Nice.
not doing a huge amount of damage here. Considering I was right underneath its belly with a dragon halberd. That's worrying, it might be my most powerful weapon now with its recent upgrade. Ah. Alright, well. <laughs> that lightning thing was useless. In my experience that, that all of these um all of these lightning all of these talismans that do damage never seem to actually protect you against much. Everything to fucking one shot with this guy as well. Yeah, those lightning things are going to be a real, real issue. Hmm. Well, you're useless. Let's go with invincibility. Stamina, naked. And we'll pop the invincibility wound when we go in. We'll pop the invincibility physic when we go in. Just try and see how much fucking damage we can actually do to this thing. I mean, really got had an opportunity to. about these moves. Got big electric stampede. That one. Got lucky there. Not great damage but not bad. Ow. Watch out for that. Woo! Fire as well. All right. Let's give rotten breath a go. <laughs> Because why not? He's big. The bigger they come, the harder they fall. Huh? Let's see if we can poison this clown. Okay, the flame breath, if you're prepared, is pretty easy to avoid.
Right in the face. How do you like being rotted? Yeah? So you can be rotted, eh? Good, good. Let, let the hate flow through you. Let the rot flow through you. That's fine. Do all of that. That's all good. Do not worry, my friend. Good to know that the death blight things don't um, break your invincibility. Should be used. Actually, my mistake. I should be using the dragon communion se uh, seal for that. For more. Da uh, for more damage if this doesn't work good to know for next time and it's cool we just get to study how awesome this boss is while oh, the rot whoa how the fuck are you supposed to avoid that Okay, half health. Interesting. Fighting fire with fire. Uh, probably need more stat. Uh, more stamina. Can I do that? Okay, cool. I was doing what, like, I got caught by that big move. I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to dodge that. What going on with this death like shit? Good, let the hate flow through you. I'll kill dragons in a variety of different ways. Don't worry about that. Stamina. Nice. Still picked on invincibility. I'm going for it.
Nice, that's a cool moveset. And that's got to be one of the coolest weapons, uh, coolest enemies in the game. That one more rock. Right in their face. Yeah. Fuck off. Wow. I was basically there. Let's do one more. Be safe. The HP is pointless at this stage. Everything's going to one shot me. We were there. I was maybe starting to internally celebrate already. That's the problem. Don't do that. Ah. And of course you die immediately the next time. That's the first time you've seen the death flight effect though, that's cool. I mean, is this one of the best? I think this is the cool. Ah, oh, man, because Placidus Act. Now, that's it, I lost my invincibility. Yeah, see, that's what. If only I'd have done that in the last run. Like in the close run, I mean. Oh, I'm not sure about that. It's clipped me there. That's bullshit. Still, I lost my invincibility. I think I was saving myself from future heartache there. Cool. Got another half an hour left in this episode. I could take this guy down.
I haven't even had a chance to talk about how fucked up the sky is. Yeah, but lost the invincibility. The good thing about this strategy is all that flame bullshit tends to avoid that. Ah, you, as soon as he saw the tail wind up, I was like, that motherfucker's going to go for the tail, tail sweep. Son of a gun. This is my least favourite of his moves. That props it pretty hard. Mmm, three hits, eh? Fuck. Give me stability gun. He is still dead, yeah, he's very dangerous at close range. I, I don't think I should be trying to prop that rock after he does his sweep, just avoid that, I think. Maybe, maybe reset. That's a bullshit move. Kind of ruins the fight. With this strategy, do I need? Yeah, I want fast roll. I was like, would armor? Really make a difference? Well, it wouldn't make a difference to Death Blight. His jump attacks are a one shot. Just need to be better about keeping my invincibility up, like I was in the first. Fuck. Man, that sucks. for it. Maybe it catches him. The range on that is pretty fucking high. Well, that would have made a good. 
I'm not sure what you're supposed to do about that sweep. That one comes right down. Hmm. Let's see what the int... Let's try that int build. See what that does. Probably nothing, so let's give it a go. going to do it. Oh, and then Night Comet we want. Okay. Let's see whether this build does it. Well, let's see what it does. Ah, uh, I should have popped God, it's great. Pop a great rune on, but oh well. Yeah, that in build did the trick beautifully. <sighs> that night comet so hard to so demi human staff plus thirteen twin sage glintstone crown. Yes, beautiful. That's such a powerful in build. Cool. Let's just quickly go over that again. So staff leveled up pretty high. Uh, Twin Sage, Glintstone Crown, Intelligence Heirloom, Marika Scar Seal, plus the Intelligence Tier and uh, the Godric's Rune gives you just enough to wield Night Comet. I think these brothers here, isn't it? Ha. Prince of Death, take a good long look. See the wrath of the Golden Order, the Order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, oh prince. Look at this. I think I'm gonna kill him. No more 
children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold, your mother is dead. <laughs> ah, hello. The rotten witch is dead. The golden order unsullied. Mm. Now I can look my brother Darian in the eye. Ah, that's what D stands for. I thought it was Dave. Deliver my spirit. Darian, honeyed rays of gold. Darian, honeyed. Okay, are we going to kill him? Haha! <laughs> 90,000! I think I want to kill him. I want that twin armor set back. Oh shit. Give me my. I want that armor set. I want that my moons back. Oh, he's a tough. What? How much? How much fucking health have you got? Ah. Oh. Score Scorsese, score seal. Yeah, let's have a proper mano a mano fight, eh? Let's go just for the He's a spicy meatball, isn't he? What the? It's like a horrible premonition of the um, the Gideon Offnir fight at rune level one. Okay. Maybe if I try and die always around here, that'd be helpful. What about Dragon Halberd it up, baby? and get that first hit in on him. Uh oh. Son of a... Ha-ha! Take that! Darian, really? Darian. Nice. I wanted the armor set back. Well, let's see where this goes. I don't think it takes me further. I'm going to take a risk here because we haven't used the way gate to a, a, a further location in the game yet. So I'm hoping it doesn't start now. No, my stupid mistake. The purity of the run. 
Oh well. You can live without it. What a successful episode, I have to admit that it's been. I'm I'm slightly stunned to be honest. Um We got more than we got one more than the target amount of bosses for this episode. I was happy with doing up to fierce champions. But we're actually four bosses at, at this stage. I think I'm learning a really valuable lesson about um, really just mixing the mixing the strategies. I learned a lot from the Valiant Gargoyle there, I think. Um, are we going to spend some money? Maybe let's buy some... Okay, so much prawn. We run, we've almost run to our, out to our limits of prawn. Slightly annoyed at myself that I didn't, um, that I took that way gate. But, no, not too much harm done. Okay. What else is there? Anything we want to do here? Maybe just have a little scoot around. If there's, I know that there's some dangerous fucking bears in this area. Not to mention the basilisk. I wonder about whether or not maybe we tackle the, the wandering mausoleum as well. Hey. Isn't there something behind here? Lightning Great Vault, nice. Definitely some more. There's definitely some shit that's there. He's a tough mother though, I'm not going to take him on. Sombre Smithing Stone 6. Oh great. Those uh spirit. I'm always mild irrationally annoyed when I um when I pick up spirit ashes because I'm like, no they're gonna use them. No they're gonna use them. Smithing stone five. Man, these are tough fucking enemies. Oh, Crucible Knight. That seems like a long time ago now. Did we get that? What was in that box? We sure did. Yes, yeah, so riding high. We're, we are ahead of where I maybe expected us to be in terms of Rani's quest line. But I'm certainly not complaining about that. Because we've lost a bit of progress there with a bot on the boss front with Valiant Gargoyles. Let's see whether or not we can find where we need to go. That looks like it's a winner.
Nice. Another wit our second weird second weird coffin encounter of the episode. This is all good amazing stuff in like terms of content with uh, Ronnie's quest line. It takes you to some wild and crazy places. Uh, hence m and most of it underground, which is why it's one of my favourite NPC quest lines in any in any video game, let alone my favourite in all of Soulsborne. finally made it we finally made it to that pl that infuriating place that we couldn't get to last time we were here love that love this place silver fireplay eh okay, yeah our item crafting how's that all coming along Probably do another two of those. Preserving boluses. Well, we've got the flame grant me strength incantation, which means we don't need. I think 13 is fine for now. Build for frost, build for sleep. Yeah, that's all right. Sleep pot. How many of those have we got? Five, okay. I think we just need to be careful about what we're using. I think I'm happy with everything that we've got at the moment. Actually, supplies are good. Minika Rani. Finally. Go on then, let's do it. Talk to Minik Lirani. Why not? How many times? Oh, oh yeah. A dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl. Oh, the baleful lives. shadows. He's going to be harder than most bosses. Already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the name of Ra. I will not. Okay. I th is that all? Perform for. Eliminate the name of Ra. I will not. Oh, Ronnie's a bit. It's a bit hardcore, isn't she? What she wants us to do. I'll tell you what, let's finish off this episode because we want to get really stuck into that. Let's just check. What's happening back at home base? Just checking with a few peeps. What's the lich dragon give us? Lightning spear? 47 or 46. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Elden Lord. Thanks. Ah, well then. Got all of that. May the golden order shine. 
can't believe if you do the game in a linear fashion how late the dung eater arrives to the capital where two think you may be ah yes but allow me to tender some advice and find the albinori she hides in a cave to the west of the lasky ruin she knows them find the elf she hides in it because she knows them uh yeah i think we've Oh, actually, we can. What, what does he say about Radan now that we've beaten him? You may be. General Radan, the famed red lion and scourge of the stars, is a ferocious warrior. A ferocious warrior. And her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds to Limgrave's east. And by my reckoning, Radan remains there. Even now. Not, not now. I killed that motherfucker. I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. All right. Should probably check out and see what Hugh's do. Greeting, do you hear the spirit? Nope. See if there's anything left in here. Now we've finished Fierce quest line. Nope. Okay. Starting to look a bit sparse in the old round table hold, I reckon. Oh, Nefeli, what the? In this ash, it reminds me of my first heart. It's getting pretty lonely down here. A lot of these quest lines are on hold until you reach Altus Plateau. All right. And I think, ladies and gents, I think that is where we're going to leave it. Well, I mean, that might be the episode, that might be the session of Elden Ring at Rune Level 1 with no summons that I'm most happy with since we started. I'm really happy with that. We've got the Gargoyles down. We've got Crucible Knight Saluria down. We got fierce champions down, and rather surprisingly, we got Lich Dragon Forty Sex down as well. So, obviously, what way better way to celebrate the next episode than by heading to everyone's favourite tourist destination, the Lake of Rot? But yeah, it's been awesome. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. Catch you on the next stream. Thanks a lot for your time. Bye.